And Solo picked a nice day for it to take off because we are seeing some sunshine that returned this morning. It was chilly in the 30s, but we warmed up nicely this afternoon. Now we look toward parade time and the weather looks to cooperate for the first full weekend of parades. Let's take a live look outside. If you're going to be one of the lucky ones jumping on those ships, it's some great weather for us right now. We will see some clouds returning this weekend. The potential for a shower tomorrow morning from a weak cold front that's going to be moving in. And then it's just looking soggy going into early next week. Here's the front on the way, and that's what's going to help to bring back some cloud cover and that chance for an isolated shower. But we've had some nice dry air across the southeast after some rainfall over the past several days. Going into the evening as you're heading out the door, not too bad. May just want a light jacket as temperatures will still be in the 50s. As you wake up Saturday morning, here comes that weak front. Some isolated showers for the North Shore around 7 o'clock. It pushes toward the south, not dropping too much rain. As we go into the afternoon, we will warm into the 60s and try to work in a little more sunshine after the cloud cover that moves in with that front. And the dry weather will continue going into parades on Sunday. From there, though, that's where we'll see a big shift once again in our weather pattern. So this is the wider view. You see the cold front swing through a few isolated showers quickly diminishes dry outlook for the rest of the weekend. Here comes the rain building in from the west. First round moves across through the afternoon and evening on Monday. The rain could be heavy at times. Some isolated thunderstorms lingering rain on Tuesday and into Wednesday before another front arrives on Thursday. We'll bring another round of some heavier rainfall before this finally starts to sweep out as we go into Friday. So looking good for your weekend Monday through about Thursday is going to be some pretty high rain chances and then looking better going into the weekend. Looking at the drought monitor though again, we could use a little bit of rainfall as we see a lot of yellow from Baton Rouge to New Orleans and into South Mississippi. No rainfall today. We're just a little bit below the normal for the month and the year to date rainfall. And as we look at temperatures over the next several days, we're warming back to spring like weather in the mid to the upper 70s. That's out ahead of those rain chances. This morning was a cold one, 32, Bogalusa, Slidell, and Hammond. Then we're going to be back into the 70s. It's like, I don't know what to wear anymore because you're constantly having to change that wardrobe. Temperatures tomorrow morning will be a good 10 to 15 degrees warmer, though, in the 40s to low 50s as winds have shifted to the south. And it's still been kind of breezy today, 12 to 14 miles per hour between Kenner and the lakefront. And you see where those winds are coming out of. It's tapping into some of that warmer air. So that's why we'll see the 70s returning on your seven day forecast. A rainy outlook through most of next week, but drying out as we go toward Friday.